some practical support and assistance for those that um, experience change within their worlds and realities and within and during those changes also have experiences within themselves that they hadn't yet faced or are struggling to deal with or direct themselves within. So firstly, it doesn't understand what happens when change manifests within one's world or reality. Firstly, understand that with regards to where we still are within our process um, in this world in relation to the mind consciousness system, our positioning within the world system, is that to a certain degree you're still dependent and defined according to and as your world and reality. That point of definition will only change once you have transcended the unconscious mind and have stood equal to and one with the totality of the world system as it exists on an existential basis. Until then, there are still conscious, subconscious and unconscious points, parts and threads of yourself in relation to the mind consciousness system that's still defined according to your world, reality, environment, the world in its entirety and existence in its entirety and everything and all within and as it. So until you have gotten to the point where you are actually living equality and oneness in fact in the physical as the physical, your point of self-definition in relation to your world environment in relation to the world system and your relationship are still existent. Now, this doesn't mean you're at a point of limitation. It is merely to understand what happens when change occur in your world and reality and what it is exactly that you're experiencing within yourself. So, for example, let's say you start a new job or you're moving to a new house or you're starting to study or you're meeting new people or you've lost your car and you're now dependent on different means of transportation, what you're experiencing within such physical reality, environmental world changes is that you'll change. What that self change just simply mean is that you're not yet standing self directive absolute within yourself wherein you can be stable within changes that's happening in your world and environment no matter what. So when, for example, changes happen in your external environment and because of that, you're still internally changing in one way or another in relation to energetic, emotional feeling reactions. What this is indicating, as I've thus said before, um, is simply that you're not yet self-directive, equal in one year, stable, constant within your self-application, which from a certain perspective is a cool indication because when changes thus happen in your external reality and you're finding that your internal that your external reality changes is influencing and affecting and controlling your internal self directive principle, then use the opportunity of the change that's happening in your world to stabilize yourself, to direct yourself, to move yourself as specifically and as effectively as possible to ensure that when the change happen externally that you stabilize yourself internally and so you can assist and support yourself to become more stable when change happen in your external world or reality so that you can eventually get to a point where no matter what changes happen externally, you remain stable inside yourself and you can self-direct you accordingly to ensure that wherever you are within your external environment, you're here. You know you're here and that you can accordingly make the decisions required to ensure that you effectively and sufficiently support yourself in the world system. Now, 
many that for example experience new things coming into their world or reality like people studying working um home environment and things like that where there's like location changes um like moving into a new home or responsibility changes like um, starting studying or participation changes like um, starting a new job what you'll experience initially is of course resistance um, resistance simply means um, that there's change happening and that you haven't yet stood equal to and one with the change that's happening so The key is simply to ensure that you're stable, that you can direct yourself within the new change, that um, when you, for example, start uh, the new starting to study, make time within your day to incorporate the studying. When you're starting your new work environment, interacting with new people, assist and support yourself with breath, remain stable. Um, start interacting meeting new people see who you are in relation to them i mean every change is an opportunity to see who you are what points or parts of yourself in your practical application living in this reality require more attention um, to stand within and as to remain self-directive so the key is simply to always remain self-directive to remain stable um, to not have external changes that happen in your reality change you. Otherwise, again, a time loop has to happen where you have to go through experiences to kind of be forced then to accept the change. And then you just build upon more mind layers within yourself. Um, like, for example, where studying enters your world or your reality. And then instead of incorporating it into your day and directing yourself within it, you allow yourself to react towards it and then blame it for, for example, not being able to get to certain things um, during your day. But that's not the case. The case is that you didn't direct yourself effectively within the point of studying coming into your world and your reality. And you didn't incorporate it equally into your day. And... Um, then you just created unnecessary reactions towards it and then using the point as a point of blame and excuse uh, for other activities that you couldn't get to and i mean it just becomes a whole conglomeration of mind dimensions that's again created in relation to the point and then you get to the realization that okay studying is in my world so i'm kind of now forced to accept it i mean you don't want to go through that whole process simply always take change into your current self your current world your current reality and see how you're able to incorporate it into yourself into your world in such a way that you remain as directive principle of it um, also like for example starting a new job Utilize the point, you're meeting new people, you're in a new place, uh, see who you are in relation to the people, what new points are coming up, what new things about yourself are you seeing that you haven't taken into consideration before. I know it's easier saying than doing, <laughs> uh, but when one has time, such opportunities can be really valuable in assisting and supporting yourself to make your process a lot more faster within this world and reality as we're walking ourselves and facing ourselves in every moment of breath so don't let change change you always remain directive stable here or at least push self in assisting and supporting self to remain stable directive here within and as change so that through using change in such a way that's happening in your external reality or environment you can assist and support you within the process of stopping defining you in relation to your external world and environment and start with the process of standing equal and one with you here and being the directive principle of yourself in your environment instead of your environment controlling, influencing and directing you. Thank you.